cosec theta minus sin theta in multiplication with sec theta minus cos theta is equal to 1 divided by sum of tan theta and cot theta. Let us consider left hand side of this identity. It is cosec theta minus sin theta in multiplication with sec theta minus cos theta. We know that cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta. Cosec theta is reciprocal of sin theta. So cosec theta can be written as 1 upon sin theta. Then minus sin theta as it is. Similarly, sec theta can be written as 1 upon cos theta minus cos theta. Now we know that A upon B minus C is equal to A minus B multiplied by C whole divided by B. So using this relation we can write left hand side as 1 minus sin theta multiplied by sin theta whole divided by sin theta and the second part of the left hand side is 1 minus cos theta multiplied by cos theta whole divided by cos theta. We can simplify it as 1 minus sin square theta divided by sin theta in multiplication with 1 minus cos square theta divided by cos theta. Further, we can write 1 minus sin square theta as cos square theta. According to the trigonometric identities, 1 minus cos square x is equal to sin square x or 1 minus sin square x is equal to cos square x. So, according to these two identities, it is 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos square theta upon sin theta. Then 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta then cos theta. Now it is sin theta and this is sin theta raised to power 2. So 1 power can be reduced. Here cos theta and cos square theta it is cos theta raised to power 1. Okay. So, we will have cos theta upon 1 into sin theta upon 1. So, the left hand side is cos theta multiplied by sin theta. Now, consider right hand side. Right hand side is 1 divided by tan theta plus cot theta. So, right hand side is 1 divided by tan theta plus cot theta. We know that tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta. So we can write tan theta as sin theta upon cos theta. Then plus cot theta. Cot theta is cos theta upon sin theta. The denominator of the right hand side can be simplified further. The numerator is 1 as it is. According to the relation, a upon B plus C upon D is equal to A multiplied by D plus B multiplied by C whole divided by B multiplied by D. Okay, so using this relation, sin theta upon cos theta plus cos theta upon sin theta, it can be written as sin theta in multiplication with sin theta then plus sin then cos theta multiplied by cos theta and then cos theta multiplied by sin theta okay so it is 1 upon sin square theta 
plus cos square theta divided by product of sin theta and cos theta. According to the trigonometric identities, sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So, denominator is 1 divided by sin theta cos theta. So, sin theta cos theta is denominator of the denominator or you can say 1 upon 1 divided by sin theta cos theta is equal to sin theta cos theta itself. So, the right hand side is sin theta in multiplication with cos theta. The left hand side is also the product of cos theta and sin theta. So, we can say that RHS right hand side is equal to LHS the left hand side is equal to sin theta cos theta.